Let's begin with an anatomic review using an illustration from Frank Netter's textbook. And here the anal rectal region is shown in cross section. Some important landmarks include the middle rectal valve, which is at the level usually of the peritoneal reflection. And as you move more distally, you find the anal canal proper. The, now the surgical anal canal is defined as that region from the anal verge extending to the superior aspect of the columns of Morgagni at the level of what's called the anal rectal ring. And this is usually a four to five centimeter region from anal verge to the anal rectal ring or the surgical, also called functional, um, anal canal. In contrast, the anatomical or embryologic anal canal is a bit shorter and it extends from the anal verge only to the dentate line which is shown here. Now anal canal malignancies lie in this area. They involve the true or surgical anal canal and it can extend as high as four or five centimeters from the anal verge. A true anal margin lesion is completely visible with just gentle traction on the buttocks and extends in a radius not greater than five centimeters from the anal verge. So the anal margin is a region. The anal margin is a region that includes a five centimeter circumference around the anal verge. If a lesion extends beyond the anal verge and part of it is not completely visible with gentle traction of the buttocks, then it should be treated as a anal canal lesion. And the modality for treatment for anal canal lesions is, of course, chemoradiation using the NIGRO protocol.